Joining us now, Washington Times political columnist Charles Hurt. Charles, I've not heard that before. Had, I don't think you had either. Sounds like a plan that gets the debate back on track of how do we get to prosperity. Yeah, uh, I had not heard any of those details either. And, you know, th let's, you know this is where Donald Trump is at his best. Uh, when he's kind of co conjuring up, uh, uh, you know, plans like this, talking about infrastructure, talking about things that people have a lot of faith in him. You know, he, you know, he, people love to, you know, Democrats love to make fun of him about his big buildings with his names on it, uh, you know, in gold. Uh, but, you know, that is something that, that people, you know, that's a positive for him. Yeah. People view that as being something good. They like people who build things. And, and one thing you can't deny is that Donald Trump does build things. And, you know, we spend so much time talking about foreign policy, talking about all these, uh, the, the, the terrible things that are going on around the world, uh, Hillary Clinton's emails and all, all that stuff is vitally important. But, you know, as you know, this election will turn on the economy. It's going to what, what people vote so, for so is Charles, their pocketbook. And Charles, therefore, Donald Trump has to stop taking the bait. <laughs> But yeah. Seriously, I mean, the media yeah. is universally opposed to Trump. They're trying to provoke him on every conceivable opportunity. And Trump, unfortunately, so often responds to the provocation. He's got to stop doing that. Yeah, he, he is impulsive, and when he's attacked, he cannot resist. And, you know, I, I, you know, I, I feel like this whole thing with Khazir Khan uh, is, uh, you know, somewhat of a, a media, uh, uh, something that the, the media is blowing way, way, way out of proportion. But your point is exactly right. He shouldn't have taken the bait. He should, uh, you know, he should know better than, than to try to, to uh, you know, when uh, Stephanopoulos tried to bait him on the business about, you know, what sacrifices have you made, you just say there's no sacrifice like the sacrifice that the cons made right. and move on. But he, but he can't, you know, and I think that part of the thing that people like about him is that he's so authentic. He obviously didn't go to, to you know, political answers training school because everybody knows how to answer that question except Donald Trump. But, and he's always fighting, and I think people does, do like that. About who, who do his supporters really want? Do they want a nailed down, reined in Donald Trump, a professional do politician Donald Trump, or do they want him unleashed where he just does his thing? I suspect it's the latter. But the latter will never get him the middle, well, that's the wrong word, will ha give him problems with the middle ground. Yeah, the problem is that, and, and I agree with you, and, and it's the unleashed Donald Trump that is the most entertaining and most enjoyable and most effective. But there are certain cir circumstances where he needs to learn to just rein it in a little bit. And as you say, don't take the bait. And I'm so glad you tested him because he needs to be tested again and again and again until he stops taking the bait. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I offered it to him. He didn't quite take it. He talked a lot about his Atlantic City experiences and all the rest of it. I don't, I don't think he's going to be applauded by the media for that, though. No. No, he would. In fact, I expect the media to pick up on what he said about his Atlantic City experiences and then investigate further his casinos, his hotels. Yeah. It's any excuse, and they'll go after that, as opposed to looking at tax cutting, a fund to rebuild right. infrastructure, prosperity and growth. They won't look at that, I don't, I don't think, but we shall see. No, they, they, it's not nearly as interesting, interesting as uh, all these other side shows. You're one of the few exceptions in the media there, Charles. Uh, that's why you're on the show. Thanks very much indeed, Charles. We do appreciate Thank you being you. here. Good stuff.